Energy is the new currency. Why they are obsessed with the chosen ones. You know, in this walk, you're going to find out as you go through your spiritual warfare, because spiritual warfare is very real. You know, people being attached to you, people being obsessed with you and your presence and your aura. There's all a reason because of that. You know, we have a strong spiritual presence. We leave a mark on people's lives. People remember you. People become obsessed with you, not in a healthy way at all. So you got to be wary of the signs and the reasons behind why people are obsessed with you. Because it's not anything, it's not used to benefit you. It's, for, it's to benefit them. They want to benefit themselves. And we live in a time where a lot of people are spiritually dead, soulless. They don't have God in their hearts. They don't know how to love. So you can't expect love from someone who don't know how to love themselves. You can't expect respect from someone who don't have, who don't know how to respect themselves. So it's good to have wisdom and be deep in the word so you can have that knowledge how to maneuver through different situations and just have God in your heart. And just know that when you walk into a room, you glow different. People notice the spirit of God in you. The spirit of God is powerful. The Holy Spirit is in you, is glowing. And people see that. And you gotta understand that you're a light in the midst of darkness. So what do people do when they are in darkness? They gravitate towards the light. But they gravitate to the light just to extract your light, cause to dim your light. So they will cast stones at you. They gonna start organized mobbing, which is, you know, they all, let's say you in a workplace, they all gonna start gossiping about you, saying false rumors, saying things that are not true, you know, but all you can do is keep on striving forth and being obedient to God and pray that he can just open up new doors for you and pray that he can um, fight your battles for you. Of course, stay prayed up, uh, continue to fast. But you know, when signs such as somebody like, they're constantly calling you, they're constantly trying to see what you're up to, like that's the type of person that you wanna not be around. Cause you gotta ask yourself, why, why are they so obsessed with you? Why are they so fixated on you? When you are just trying to move on with your life, and you trying to just get your things together. You got to let this person know that you trying to do other things in your life, yet they still obsessed with you. That is demonic. That is an evil spirit. You know, the evil spirits can work through them to get to you, to cause harm to you. So if God had revealed to you the true intentions of somebody, he showed you what they was about. He showed you their true colors. Because God will show you. He's going to show you when somebody not meant for you. He's going to show you when somebody is used by the enemy to cast snares in your life who is meant to set traps in your life so it's good to take heed of those signs and don't ignore those signs and that could be come from family friends co-workers and it's a man's enemies in his is in his own household so don't be naive you know take heed to the sign i know that it can be hard i know that can hurt because it comes from your family you know friends your favorite cousin but at the end of the day you want to be obedient servants of Christ, obedient servants of God. And to do that, we must separate ourselves because we are called to be peculiar people, to be holy, which means being set apart. So keep that in mind and don't let it wind down on you because what God takes away, he will definitely fulfill a hundredfold if you are obedient. And he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I believe that is Hebrews 1 and 11. So Keep that in mind, and I pray that God can just show you the enemies in your life, that you can take heed of those signs, and that you can walk in his righteousness. And then God bless y'all, and I pray this bless you in Jesus' name.